As you view the workflow settings page, you see the employee benefits update workflow and the value of zero under the workflows in progress column. Now you, in your role as Christine, will initiate a workflow. On the quick launch, click Shared Documents. On the Shared Documents library under Library Tools on the ribbon, click Documents. Assume for the purposes of this exercise that you have updated the document. Notice your name now appears as the employee who last modified the document. Put your cursor before Employee Benefits and select the checkbox to indicate that you wish to work on this document. On the ribbon, in the Workflows group, click Workflows. The page that appears has two main sections, Start a New Workflow and Workflows. Under Start a New Workflow, all the available workflows are listed. Since there's only one for this library, only the Employee Benefits Update displays. The Workflows section is split into two parts, Running Workflows and Completed Workflows. Notice no workflows are currently running. Before starting the workflow, in the breadcrumb navigation, verify you are viewing the Workflow Settings page for the benefits document. The breadcrumb navigation should read HR Policies Review, Shared Documents, Workflows, Employee Benefits. Under the Start a New Workflows section, click Employee Benefits Update. The Workflow Configuration page opens. The values entered when you created the workflow appear. You can customize them or leave them as is. In this case, a shorter turnaround time is needed. Change the duration per task value to 3 to give Penny and Kim 3 days to provide feedback. Click Start. The screen will say In Progress while the workflow is running. Penny Collins and Kim Curtis will each receive an email indicating the document is ready for their review and feedback. It is now time to see how reviewers interact with the Collect Feedback workflow and how the workflow administrator can manage it.